Spokie Stadium, home of the Tennessee Spokies, doubly affiliated with the Chicago Cubs. We're here to take you on a little behind the scenes tour, introduce you to some of the folks who work here, and tell you what we do day in and day out to make baseball happen. Hi, my name is Eric Taylor. I'm the head groundskeeper for the Tennessee Smokies. It's the double A team for the Chicago Cubs. Uh, I've been in pro ball for uh, 10 years now. Uh, went to school at uh, Gaza State. Basically what I do here every day is uh, I maintain 2.3 acres of a baseball field for the team, travel teams, high school teams, any, any kind of event that we have out here. Uh, if we have a wedding or whatever. Uh, we monitor the grass every day. Uh, with soil temperatures, uh, fertility food, um, all that kind of stuff. Make sure it gets proper uh, water with irrigation or uh, rain from Mother Nature. Uh, most of my job has to do a lot with the infield dirt. Uh, that's probably the most important thing to our minor league team. And uh, other than that, it's uh, been one of the best uh, career choices I could have made for myself. Now it's time to show you some place truly special that not everybody gets to see. Welcome to our locker room. We want to motivate our players to be the very best they can be and to make it to the top, which for us is the Chicago Cubs. So one of the first things they see when they walk in the locker room every day is our wall of fame. These are the players who were on the Chicago Cubs historic 2016 World Series roster who all got their start right here at Smokey Stadium. If you'll follow me, you'll see another way we try to make our players feel comfortable and feel at home is by having our locker facility look just like the locker facility at Wrigley Field. Our players have a place to keep their belongings, get dressed before games, get ready to go home at the end of the night, and relax with things like TVs around the area, nice couches, comfy chairs for them to, to sit in. Additionally, nutrition is super important to the Chicago Cubs. They want their players to be at peak performance, which means feeding their bodies right. They send a nutritionist from Chicago to work with the players every single day. So we've provided a great space for pre and post game buffets, uh, a kitchen for the nutritionist to cook meals for them here on site. And the nutritionist is able to put up reminders of how to properly stay hydrated and great nutrition practices. Oh, I'm Brett Adams, Account Executive of Ticket Operations with the Tennessee Smokies. Um, I uh, graduated from the University of Florida. Uh, this is my 10th year in minor league baseball. Um, I've worked for a couple different teams in a couple of variety of roles. Um, I worked in merchandise. Um, I've worked in the box office. I've worked as a salesperson, um, helped out with marketing and that kind of stuff. <laughs> So here with the Smokies, what I do, um, I uh, run the box office. Um, any uh, call-ins or uh, people that come up to the window, uh, usually uh, I am the one that uh, you will have to deal with. Um, I also set up our ticket system. Uh, we use ticket return. Um, I set it up, create all the prices. Um, that kind of stuff, promo codes. Uh, one of my favorite reasons to work in minor league baseball is uh, the fans. Um, I always love uh, building a relationship with season ticket holders um, as well as every, every fan that walks into the stands. Um, I, I just love seeing everybody smiling. 
To keep our players in shape, we provide them with everything they need right here at Smokey Stadium with our own in-house training facility. My name is Leslie Sofa. I work for the Tennessee Smokies baseball team. When I came to Tennessee, it was two years ago, and I started in the marketing and community relations role. Now, going into my second year, I am in the media relations and merchandising manager role. But before I came to Tennessee, I went to a small state school in Pennsylvania called Kutztown University, went for sports management as my major, and public relations and digital communication and new media as my minors. I graduated there in 2019 and then in 2020 in January I moved down here to Tennessee. When I first started with the Smokies it was the marketing and community relations so I dealt a lot with social media, the website development, community relations, taking the staff and Smokey's players out to get them involved with the community and also taking Homer Hound, our mascot, out into, the, out into the community. Now in my newest role with retail, it is anywhere from ordering clothing to fulfilling daily orders to making sure the store is presentable for people to come in and shop every day. So working with the company, I have definitely expanded my role here just in the short two years. But I think my favorite aspect of my job is working with my boss, Eris, who you will see later in the video, and just all of the creative aspects that we come out with for our social media and website. We really take pride in what we do on there and we try to make it the best that we can, interacting with fans when we can. and and just making a best experience for everybody as soon as they see something from the Smokies. The, the main focus in our department is pretty much everything that the fans see. So on social media, the website, when they walk into the ballpark and the giveaways, the on-field promotions, that's all coming out of the marketing and marketing department and that's really him and I doing whatever we can to make our fans experience the best and that's that's what I love about my job. The newest addition to Smokey Stadium is our performance center opened in 2018. This facility allows our players to train indoors regardless of what the weather is outside. We have a state-of-the-art hit track system which gives players information on their swing and where balls would have landed in any baseball park in America. Hi, I'm Chris Allen, President, Chief Operating Officer, Tennessee Smokies. I graduated from Liberty University and I oversee the entire operation of Boy Sports. A typical day for me is coming in, catching up on some of the financials, returning emails, uh, spending some time with the guys, discussing our next plan of action to, uh, to substitute the fact that we don't have baseball right now. And, and hopefully we'll get baseball season back up and running and bring entertainment to all the citizens in the community. Favorite part about working in minor league baseball uh, I don't know, it's just something I've always done. That's always been part of baseball. Baseball's been part of my life since I was a little kid, and uh, I'm just happy to be able to do what I love. Oh, hello. Didn't notice you there. I'm Aris. I'm the director of marketing and entertainment here with the Tennessee Smokies. I do a lot. Well, let me show you where I work. Come on. So this is our press row. It features a lot of the jerseys that uh, the Tennessee Smokies have been affiliated with over the years. Eight teams, actually. Right now, we're associated with the Chicago Cubs. Yes. The friendly confines of Wrigley Field brought to you right here in East Tennessee. This is the press box. 
and this is Press Row. This is where our uh, news, local newspapers, local uh, television stations, anybody who's coming here to cover the Tennessee Smokies games, they sit right here along here. Uh, it features the top of the line internet as well as broadband services. This is where Chicago Cubs people come and actually uh, take in information to Chicago. So they have a direct feed. Over here is our wall of fame. It features uh, various gentlemen that came through the ranks here with the Tennessee Smokies, the Knox Sox, uh, so on and so forth. Um, most recently, Roy Halladay, great pitcher for the Toronto Blue Jays, as well as the Philadelphia Phillies. Tony La Russa, former Knoxville White Sox manager, and now current Chicago White Sox manager. It comes full circle here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take you in the press box. So, there's a lot of computers and a lot of jobs to cover here, uh, but I'll give you a quick little tutorial on every single one of the seats at least. Right here in this seat, this is uh, where Bernie sits. Bernie is the one that contacts New York. So every single pitch, he puts it in and he submits it straight to New York. So every single, every walk, every ball, strike, hit by pitch, he is the one that's communicating with New York City. Over here, this is where Wade sits. And he's the one that controls the line score. So every ball and strike and run that takes place here at the game, he's the one that puts it up on the video board. This is where George, the voice of the Tennessee Smokies, sits. He is the one on the microphone that tells you who's coming up to bat and the score of the game and introduce all the fun activities that take place during the game. Come on, get a little closer here. Over here is where our replay system is. So we can cut and move as many uh, replays as I, we want. We can submit them straight to big name uh, media things like ESPN or the local news. If somebody makes a, like a great catch or Perhaps uh, there is an, uh, like a proposal during the game, something fun, they can get into that. This is our show control. This is where we switch between the cameras and whatnot. Our graphics computer, it keeps the update of how the score bug um, in the corner, so if you're watching the game online, the score bug right there is the one that tells you what's going on in the game. Here we have what goes actually on the video board. All of our videos, our commercials, live shots, graphics, headshots. And this is where our music man sits. All the crazy cool tunes that uh, go part, go into the game. You know, the walk-up songs, dance cam music, all the fun stuff out there. Well, I'm gonna take you outside. Gotta unlock the door first. You first, come take a look at this view. So this is my view every day, and my gosh, it's such a pleasure to be working here with the Tennessee Smokies. Uh, just a little bit about myself. Um, this is going to be my seventh year in minor league baseball, second with the Tennessee Smokies. I'm originally from New Jersey, and I graduated there with a radio, television, film degree from Rowan University. Um, after that, I took my talents to West Beach, that's California. Uh, I spent three seasons there uh, with the Inland Empire 66ers, the single A affiliate for the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Uh, here with the Smokies, I am in charge of all of the video production, everything that goes on up here, as well as our social media, uh, marketing, all of the stuff that takes place down on the field in between the innings with our sponsors, our promotions, uh, on top of our media relations and everything like that with my hardcore and very dedicated uh, assistant, Leslie. I'm sure that you met her earlier in this stadium. So thank you so much for listening to me today and hope you have fun continuing this tour with Baylor right now. Smokey Stadium has a lot of great amenities for our fans, including 15 luxury suites. Some of these suites are rented for the entire season by individuals and companies, and others are available for nightly party rentals for families, church groups, and other functions.
In addition to various seating options inside, each suite features 12 stadium seats overlooking the field. Thanks for joining us today. We hope to see you out here at Spooky Stadium soon.